if you're an hourly employee who's entitled to overtime under the FLSA, this message is for you. So, the holidays has come and gone. You got some time off for Christmas, maybe the New Year's. So, congratulations. I hope you enjoy your time off. But let's talk about the consequences of your time off when it comes to overtime. You don't get paid overtime for your holiday time. So let's say it's uh, you work 40 hours and then you got an extra day, eight hours, basically of, on top of that for the holiday pay. So it's, it's an extra day off. So overtime is when you work 40 hours a week that's when you get paid uh, time and a half in your regular rate. But it's only for actual work time. If you did not work over 40, then you don't get paid. So let's say it's 40 hours and then you get a day off for Christmas Day, so it's eight hours. You didn't actually work those eight hours, so under the FLSA, it's not considered compensable time for overtime purposes. Now, let's take the other example. Let's say on, um, on the week where New Year's Eve and New Year's Day took place, and um, on your payroll it looks like you had 40 hours. But one of those days was New Year's Day, it was a paid day off, then you essentially uh, did work 40 hours. You only work like 32 hours that week. And so as a result, um, under the FLSA, you didn't get paid 40 hours. So remember, when it comes to overtime pay under the FLSA, it's only your actual work time, not your vacation, not your holiday time, where you get to stay home and they gave you those hours uh, as paid time off. Okay, back to work.